Grade 4 math, number 110, customary units of length, which are U.S. standard. When you look at a ruler, you can see that it's one foot long, it's 12 inches, and we look at this pencil, to measure it, we line it up at the edge of the ruler, and we see that it's 7 inches long. It ends at the 7, see? Because this is 12 inches long, each inch is 1 12th of this foot, see? This whole thing is a foot long. It's one foot long. It's 12 inches. We can use a ruler to measure length. A ruler is usually one foot long, and one foot is 12 inches. So one inch is one twelfth of a foot. A yardstick is three feet long, so it's 36 inches. We multiply each foot by 12 to find the inches. One foot, one times 12 inches, is 12 inches. Two feet is the two times 12 inches, 24 inches. Three feet is three times 12 inches, so it's 36 inches. Four feet is four times 12 inches, so it's 48 inches. And five feet is the same, five times 12, 60 inches. See? This right here would be one yardstick. It's 36 inches. See? Three feet. So a yardstick is three one-foot lengths. 12 inches is one foot total. So which would be bigger, two feet or one yard? Well, here's one foot, two foot. One yard is way bigger, isn't it? Which is bigger, 13 inches or one foot? Well, one foot is 12 inches. 13 is an inch bigger. So 13 inches is bigger, isn't it? Which is bigger, two yards or 20 inches? Well, one yard is three feet. One foot is 12 inches. So two yards would be six feet. That would be a lot bigger than 20 inches, wouldn't it? Which is bigger, 6 feet or 60 inches? Well, remember we did 5 times 12 is 60 inches, so that's 5 feet. So 5 feet is smaller than 6 feet. 6 feet is bigger. Which is bigger, a foot or a yard? Here's a foot, see? And here's a yard. So the yard is way bigger, isn't it? So put the greater than sign towards the yard. So Emma wanted to sew a dress for a party, and she needs three yards of fabric. She measured her fabric, and she has 120 inches. Is it enough? Well, she needs three yards, and she has 120 inches. We know that one yard is 36 inches. We can either add the 36 inches three times, because that's what she needs, or we could multiply the 36 inches times the 3 yards and get 108 inches. If she has 120 inches, then yes, she has enough. She only needed 108. Okay, Tala needs 10 yards of carpet for a room. She has 32 feet of carpet. Does she have enough? Well, 1 yard is 3 feet. If we multiply the 10 yards by the 3 feet in each yard, we get 30 feet. She has 32 feet. She only needed 30. So yes, she has enough. So those are customary units of length. Those are U.S. standard lengths. And we can convert one to the other to help us measure. Change inches to feet or feet to yards. And then we can find out how long things are. That's length. We're going to talk about weight next. I hope to see you there. Bye.